Heidi. Hey, beautiful. You okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Aw. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. What are you working on? Chief pulled over a truck for speeding this morning and found some illegal game in the back. I'm registering the ticket. <laughs> they never learn, do they? Nope. Okay, how did you not immediately scarf this down? You kidding? This is my third helping. We uh, have new rules about civilians hanging around certain parts of the station. Reception booth is out of bounds. Sorry. I can't imagine having my mugshot taken right here in front of everyone. Trust me, it'd be the least of your worries. A kid-sized bandit? What a weird-ass case. Morning. Hola, Miss Ronan. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. The Chief's busy right now, but you could leave him in his mail slot. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh, yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Get you a plate, girl. God, I hope no one got hurt. What was going on with me this morning? So fucking scary. Hmm. I love the smell of this soap. You all right, kid? Yeah, just super tired. Hey, Gregs. <laughs> Going around in circles? Nothing really, just waiting for D. <laughs> then pull up a chair. I will in a second. Paperwork. <laughs> Fucking hate paperwork. At least we didn't spend the night here. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Sounds like Eddie's busy. I shouldn't bother him. Uh, can I have your address, please? Uh, 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 1712 East 8th Street, Anchorage, Alaska. 99501. Mr. Gershwin, can you confirm the reason for your visit? I probably shouldn't eavesdrop. My folks and younger brother live here. Let me know him. Works at the post office. Name's Danny. Ah, uh, yes, I do. So you're here to visit family. And all for the honeymoon, correct? You had a tag brought near Miller? Correct. 
Greg. Season's closed in most places around here. Lucky draw. Sure was. So that moose we found in your truck. You harvested that in your permit zone, did you? Of course I did. I'm not some goddamn poacher. Calm down, sir. I'm just trying to get all the facts. No more snooping. Thing is, some troopers out near Crystal reported finding implications by the highway in the closed season zone. Gonna need to inspect your rifle and hunting gear. What? What well, makes you think those cages were mine? Well, we got a tip that you were bragging about down in the moose up that way. This is some bull. No, sir. The bull is in your truck. It's kind of out in the woods where it should be. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's going to be busy for a while. Lapse in judgment. You're free to keep the meat if you want. And I swear it won't happen again. It's all good. Is that a bribe, sir? Look, you're already facing multiple misdemeanors here. Permitting violence. No more snooping. I'm pretty sure you won't have felony bribery. game harvesting very seriously out here, Mr. Grable, as you should know. I, I do. I, uh... It's not only about culture and tradition, but also respect. That's why we have law. I got nothing but respect for the law. Do you? What about respect for wildlife? Population's in decline out by Crystal, and you just pulled a bull in its prime right out. You're not to take away your hunting license for years, Mr. Grable. Believe you me, this is just a misunderstanding. I better not see you back in this office again. For anything. Not for food, not for litter, and definitely not for poke. I should grab a piece yes. of cobbler before Greg's Please. inhales all of it. Shh. You still have some paperwork to do, so I'm gonna hold you back here for a bit. But it'll give you time to read the Alaska State Hunting and Fishing Regulations. Refresh your memory. Yeah. You're giving me homework? That it? I think that's it. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. Taste a pie. Cobbler. Whatever. Mmm. What are you having? Trout pie and, uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. A cobbler diet? Hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. I've always had a sweet tooth. <laughs> Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh, growing boys, right? He needs the extra energy. He wants to let her in wrestling, and who boy, is he working hard. Damn. Sometimes I miss being 14. What are they talking about? They're talking about none of your business, young lady. Fucker. They haven't had a three-pointer coffee break in a while. <laughs> You remember how that one shot of yours went wild and smashed the picture of old Chief Burke? Yep. Couldn't show my face around here for a week. Eh. Well, I'll let you in on a secret. Most people hated Burke anyway. Your dad's a far better chief than he ever was. Yeah, probably best to go do that straight away. On my way there next. I'm gonna have to tell the whole hospital what happened. So... I have that cute little criminal locked up in a kennel in the back of my car, and I really kind of need to get to work. I, I'd appreciate no, I it if you could take spine, him to right? animal control. <laughs> hey, Gregs. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But 
I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. It's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. <sighs> hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Let me guess. Some bored kid? Eh, wrong. It's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little something to make up for missing your birthday. It's not much, but... You're kidding. I love it. Did you make this? <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Delos Crossing's not gonna be the same without you, girl. Oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? What do you mean? Well, you know, how he went and broke into the archive room, then pretty much assaulted your uncle? Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah, the sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. The chief works hard for all of us. He doesn't deserve to be treated that way. We did what we had to, to get what we needed. Since none of you right. fuckers would tell I us the truth. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people... They mostly don't change. Even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest. Stable. You're not a troublemaker. Tyler... If he goes down, don't let him take you with him, okay? I... I can't... I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please, just let me go. I need air. I need some air. Before. This will pass. Ha <laughs> 
getting there, Allison. You're getting there. I'm okay. I'm okay. What's happening? Are you okay? Yes. Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't know what these people are gonna be like. Or when I'm gonna see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going, though. Come on. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, uh, kids. I, um, went back to the house and got a few things for you. I, I know how much he's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... <laughs> This is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> uh. Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him. Over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back, and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. You can't go on letting it haunt your every waking moment. <sighs> Look. You're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You gotta tell those ghosts to move on. Uncle. 
uncle. It was me. I... is the one who... had the scissors. What? What, what are you saying? She... she was threatening Tyler. So I stabbed her. <laughs> I, I killed her. <laughs> I killed my mother. <laughs> but Tyler confessed. He he went to fireweed. We lied. We lied to everyone. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> How could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. <laughs> but we should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. <laughs> Keeping that inside all these years. I pretty much just bottled it up. And now it's all I can think about. <laughs> Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> it's not easy to admit something like that. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. <laughs> I should have seen it. I'm so sorry. None of this was fair to you too. Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? Relieved, actually. And really tired. Uh, I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed, did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. I remember he brought us our goblin figurines. And we had a big group hug. Yeah. He borrowed the house keys so he can go out and get them. He was over at our house a lot. Fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was. But did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me, too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. <laughs>